Hi, welcome. Um, today, Harry Potter. Uh, not a reaction, because obviously I've seen it, especially since I'm wearing a, <laughs> a branded shirt. Um, no, love the Harry Potter series. Was talking about it last night or the night before with one of my friends, and I was like, you know what? I haven't watched it in, I, I feel like I watched them at least all like once a year, once every two years. Not that I feel like it slowed down a lot more, but I still love it. I feel like I just skipped the, like the movies I like best. So like mainly I'll rewatch number three or clips from Prisoner of Azkaban. But yes, and obviously I wore a shirt that actually matches for once. Um, Slytherin, my house, obviously, green. It's a, it's a Malfoy, uh, Malfoy shirt. As you can see on the back. Am I the biggest Malfoy character fan? I mean, I love the actor, but like, Malfoy's not that great. He had like a slight redemption arc at the end, but you know, it's more, it was a Slytherin top and it was like on sale. So I was not, not going to get it. And I love the color green. So, you know, that really helps. Um, but yeah, really excited. I feel like I haven't seen, I think, actually, I think this one was on TV the other night, but I haven't seen this movie all the way through in a very long time. Also did not remember it was two hours and 26 minutes. I'm, I'm going to give like 20 of that to credits, but I thought it was like a easy hour and a half deal, 90 minutes, like done, done, super quick, but apparently not. Um, so yeah, let's uh, get into it. Oh my gosh, I forget. <coughs> uh, I'm already like, maybe this is just like my happy place, a comfort movie. This music is so amazing. I used to, um, on YouTube, like when I was a kid, like before, before Spotify maybe, well at least before I had Spotify, because I got that late in the game, but I used to always go on this one YouTube channel. I love people playing the violin, and I'd always watch her, um, well I wouldn't, she did, I just watched the same video over and over again. It was of, which I didn't know, Hedwig's theme, I'm pretty sure that's what the like, big piece of music, um, like the, you know, from this is called. I used to watch it so much. <laughs> she had that and a fairy tale opening. Or like the main uh, tune from fairy tale. So there's those two things. I just watch it over and over again. Professor McGonagall. Oh my gosh. I absolutely love Professor McGonagall with all my heart. I wish they gave, I wish I, they gave her more screen time. Like she doesn't, she doesn't, well she needs it, she doesn't need it, but I want her to have it. Yep, the boy lives. Parents, they got absolutely Avada Kedavra. I don't, I love Hagrid. Big Hagrid fan. Would I trust him with my life? I just think he's a bit clumsy and loose-lipped. Maybe physically? Yeah, sure. Great protector. But, as we know, he may be the keeper of keys at Hogwarts, but he's not the keeper of secrets. Because he lets so much slip to the kids over the years. And mainly in that one movie, I forget which one it is. When he's like, I should not have said that. Yeah. If you, like, had, you know, <laughs> a secret that you need to keep kept, and that was going to save your life, I would not leave it in Hagrid's hands. Yeah, this is... Mm -mm, this is fucked. They're the only family he has. You don't always have to, you know belong to the family you're born into, or blood related to. No, well actually, 
he may have become a spoiled brat if he grew up in fame. This is probably a big part of why he's a good person. But, yo, give him to a foster family. Give him to someone who's going to love him. Yeah, I agree, Hagrid. If I was going to give him to child abusers, I'd be crying too. Okay, it's not goodbye, but he's going to have to suffer. How old is he when you get your letter? 11? 11, 10, 12? You're going to have to suffer through this shit? Also, in that letter, did they just go... Oh, by the way, your sister and her partner died. They got brutally murdered. And would Aunt Petunia, or she's not my aunt, I don't have to give her that fucking respect, would Petunia know and then cover it up? Would they write the real reason? Because they know. Ugh, what a cow. It's my birthday, boy. But last year, last year I got 37. Is this just going to be me quoting the movie before it happens? <laughs> I think it might be. Or just crappy British accents. But he's doing the bacon. God. Okay, please tell me he hasn't already... Ah, oh, he asks. Counter the muscle. <laughs> yeah. And I, if that was my child, ooh, mm -mm -mm. no, nah, he's not getting away with that. I was gonna give it like a, but you don't know, bad, <laughs> but in theory, to that child in this universe that doesn't exist, deserves a clip. Or maybe he can, you know, store them up in, like, points or tallies and get them when he's 18. <laughs> I don't want to look like a bad person. Move. Move. Okay. <laughs> Dudley's got fucking issues. He's like, yeah, let me just knock him the fuck over. Just to look at a snake. Like, it's just a snake. Like, yeah, I guess its head was up. That's pretty cool. I don't know. I feel like at a zoo... Thanks. Snakes are not my number one priority at a zoo. Again, depend. I guess... Okay. I'm, a, I'm more of an aquarium person than a zoo person. Um, Because, like, seals? Penguins? Oh, my gosh. They are so much more fun. Dolphins? Sharks? Jellyfish? Great. This is what you do. You guys should all be in captivity. Um, but yeah, zoos. What do I like in a zoo? I don't know. What, what is that? Tigers? Oh, okay. I'd be like, get your hands off me, you filthy man. There is no such thing as magic. He's really... He's given hints here. I was like, what do you mean? I know. Why are you reiterating this? I do love owls, but some of them look fucking ugly. <laughs> like Hedwig? Mmm. Love. So beautiful of a creature. R rest in peace, Hedwig. That scene... So, spoilers! That scene fucked me up as a kid. Like when, actually I probably wasn't a kid when that movie came out. But did I still probably cry? Yes. Whew, that's rough. I hate, I just, this creepy smile is just like ingrained in me. Ugh. Vernon, get the fuck away from me, please. No post on Sundays. They look... Like... What are they doing here? Harry's just being a waiter. So yeah, like, that's... Fucking awful. But they're just like... 
sitting in the living room talking Ugh! what sort of family does that put on the TV the way that it takes him so long to grab one too no just grab one off the ground oh no it's like fun bits crazy bits and then just back to breaking my heart Oh, <laughs> Harry. Happy birthday, Harry. Oh, fuck. How old is he? Honestly, <laughs> that's just me anytime I'm home alone. I hear one noise and I think someone's breaking in. Oh, actually, that makes no sense. Someone is breaking in, <laughs> but... How did, how did he get a gun so quick? What size shoe is Hagrid? Like, you know what I mean? How big are the dogs? Because they look fucking huge. Dry up, Dursley, you great prune. Okay, got it. <laughs> I have to make sure I get it right. Honestly, Hagrid, beautiful soul. Lovely, best intentions. Would I trust a giant stranger that just broke into our cabin? That gave me a cake. Like Harry's... Okay, 11. Harry's also very pure, but like, I don't know if you... They've done the don't take food from strangers talk yet. Did you really think they were gonna... I'm a what? Remember... Oh. Remember when that was a, um, <laughs> that was like a popular video? You're a wizard, Harry? Blown up! A car crash? <laughs> uh, it's like, um, this is like karaoke for movies. See, this is where I think... The, mo the movie should have taken a twist. Instead of a pigtail, which is very comedic and fun, it should have been fireball, fireball, your fucking kid's dead. That would have been more interesting. Wow. I wish, like, this is, this is such a cool setup. But why do they all look like 600 years old? Ugh, hate him. Such a, I wish I could remember, as a kid, like, seeing the reveal. Though, I think I was fucking scared of him, because that CGI backhead, or whatever it was, may have not been CGI, I don't know, looked fucking horrifying. To me as a child, oh my god. No. I also, there used to be a game, I don't know if it was on... Like a Harry Potter website, or Welcome, Harry. or like a disc game for Harry Potter. But <laughs> this is how dumb I was as a kid. I couldn't get into Diagon Alley. Diagon Alley? Diagon Alley? Diagon Alley. Um, because you had to hit the the bricks in the right order, and I didn't know it, and. I was like too dumb to Google it. Granted, I don't know how. I know if I knew what Google was, to be honest, back then. And like the only way you could, like I could figure it out is by watching the movie. And I just don't think I ever did. So I never finished the game. I any money. Oh, you got coin, son. Why is Gringotts also on a slant? Makes me a little ill. Okay, so here's my thought process on this when I was a kid. That looks like a lot of money slash gold because it's in a big pile, but we don't know how their currency works because like you could have a big pile of coins in like our currency because we have like gold coins, but if it was a giant pile like that, oh, okay, it would probably be like, 
a lot of money. You know, if it was like two dollar coins or even one dollar coins, that bigger pile would probably be like a couple of grand. But like they're saying it was like he's set for life with that money. And I just I need the conversion. The conversion rate. What do you mean, no? Because, in theory, exploding something seems like a plus. This was, oh my god, so sick as a kid. I did go to like most parties when I was a child as Harry Potter. And this was just all I wanted to be whenever I held a wand. I wanted to glow and have a fan just blown in my face. Yikes. Did he say? Curious. I thought he said yikes. All right, Harry. Very quiet. No, he's not alright. Someone killed his parents and no one's talking about it. The one who gave me this. Me yeah. Everyone in the four corners of the earth knows. But my house is Slytherin, obviously, and my Patronus is a white mare. Am I that sold on that? Not a hundred percent. But if you could ride your own Patronus, that's kind of cool. I could deal with that. You know, like one in the back pocket, just like spectral horse whenever you need it. It's kind of cool. Oh my god. I, this gives me stress because I know what it's like being lost constantly and always and having to ask dumb questions for directions. Oh. Don't be mean. I remember I had to ask once because I didn't... I didn't know how trains worked very well. I, I'm not a... <laughs> I can be not very bright. And I like, I asked this guy, I was like, do you know where, like, does this train stop on this station? Cause I get really scared. I didn't know how to read like the timetables very well. And he was just like, all trains stop at that station. I was like, fuck you, mister. Like, I'm sorry, I'm stupid. How about just be a bit nice? Ugh, some train people are really rude. Mm -mm -mm. Not a fan. Some of them are very lovely and I've had good encounters. Such a nice train, too. It's honestly not that long. How many students does Hogwarts have? I think you shouldn't have to ask if it's a, it's a public train. I'm googling how many students attend. He's like... He's like, oh my god, you're a fucking... The Scar. Attend Hogwarts. Oh my god, when you put in attend, it comes up. Okay, a thousand students. Okay, that makes that makes sense. I just don't know, like, like that's what I would have assumed for, like, a high school, essentially. But that train didn't look long enough to carry a thousand students. Maybe it's magic. Maybe it's magic, actually. <laughs> She's such a know-it-all, and I love it. I think, I don't know, I've always loved... I love the know-it-all characters. I guess not always, but... Like Hermione Granger, Lisa Simpson. That's the only two I can think of at the second. But... Great characters. They already clumped into there. Oh my gosh, I love this shot. There should be a ride somewhere. Well, it's not really a ride, but just you get to go on a boat with a lantern to a castle. I guess this is, is this only for first years? Because it really, I guess it gets everyone settled in quicker. Do they go over like how to, how to be in a boat demonstrations? Like, you know, what happens if someone falls in? Do they have life jackets? Or do they just simply rely on magic so much? 
What if a kid capsizes? I guess the boat would capsize, not a child. But the kid would go overboard. Does magic cure hypothermia? I don't know these things. Red hair and a hand-me-down robe. Ron should have just knocked him out. Douche. Well, when you... Like, when you know he's in the same house, is that not a rule at this school? Because, like, I'm pretty sure at my high school, if you had a brother, an older, like, brother, even, like, a father that went there, or an uncle, you get placed in the same house. So there are, like, all these kids that just knew where they were going immediately. A. Yeah, like... Slytherin, even though most of them in this current period of time are evil, at least they strive for greatness and the best. And Snape's kind of a cool uh, head of house. Begin. Oh my gosh. The biggest fucking reason that I would like to go to Hogwarts is I want... A practically all-you-can-eat, never-stopping buffet. Really this? Like that did not <laughs> need to be done in a kid's movie. Because while they're not all kid's movies, this one definitely is. And that was a lot for me as a child. Like, it wasn't that bad, but... Also, so if there's a thousand people, and it said there's about 140 in each le year level, so 140, let's say, there's around 35 people in each year level. Oh my god, so there's about, oh I should just split the thousand by four, oh my god, I'm so dumb, why did I do that? So there's like 250 people in each house, wouldn't that common room be kind of tiny? Like, it looked like it had four chairs. Or maybe that's just one part of it and it's bigger and we don't see that, but you would think it would be, like, fucking a lot more massive, to be honest. But that might be just a me thought. Because, like, the castle's pretty fucking huge. Okay, Snape, we get it. His dad was an asshole to you, but get fucked. He's writing notes. This is class. Is that not what you want? Oh. Neville, <sighs> like you'll get there. You'll get. We know you get there. You get become very attractive. You come become tall, less useless. As such, ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh no. Pull up. Oh, I love her dive. <laughs> She's like, nah, I ain't getting hit today. Mm. Oh my god, I would have been like crying already. I was so scared to get in trouble at school. Well, high school. Primary school, I was a little shit, but... Okay, I wasn't a little shit, I just talked too much. Is that a Nargle in the back? Nargle? No, not a Nargle. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. A Thestral. I think I'm thinking Nargles because of that Tom Holland interview where they say, What's this creature? And it's a Thestral, and he goes, Nargles. It's a very, it's a very funny video. It's that horsey thing. And it is called an Argle. See, she's so supportive. Good friend. See, she knows it all. And that's so good. She can, you know, uh, know it alls are so useful. Oh, this is sad. <laughs> I 
Ah! Yes, that would scare the shit out of me as well. I don't... Could three kids really... I don't know if they could... Like... Push that... It's a giant dog. Guarding something. See? Know-it-alls. This is what I'm saying. Know-it-alls are people you need in life. She needs to sort out her priorities. I think I quote that so often. Anytime some, someone says something that I disagree with, that's my go-to. Troll in the dungeon. Troll. <laughs> And he's making his way to the girls' bathroom. That is such a rude troll. Mm -mm. He should be put on a registry. Dirty troll. Go back to the bridge you came from. Ooh. You know what? The this, this CGI kind of holds up. Unless it's not CGI. He still looks good. Legs are a bit... Hermione, that ain't gonna do shit. I think even if she said still, he's not really... He's not whacking down, because he's kind of an idiot. Okay, that one he was going to kill. <laughs> Stick it up his... Stick it up his nose! Oh! <laughs> yeah, that's kind of fucked. No. <laughs> That would feel so awful. Also, he practically stabbed him. Like, that should have hit his br brain. Or, I don't know, killed him. Yeah, what are you gonna do now, troll? It's not like you could crush him with your hands. <laughs> yeah, you do. So correct me if I'm wrong, but this was a gift from McGonagall, was it not? Because I don't think I ever caught it by this look. But, because she like gives him a look, but I think I saw it on something once. I'm going to cry, that's so nice. <laughs> I'm like, if it is from her, I'm pretty sure it is. And by that look, what else did that mean? But that's so cute. She's so, like, warm and loving, but also she wants Gryffindor to win, obviously. Oh, he's too good. Ah. That has to be illegal. <laughs> what are the, like, what are some of the rules? Harry, go do something. So, do they just not have a keeper now? McGonagall's like, oh fuck, my team. He's chinked in the broom. Oh, uh, wouldn't you just like throw up straight away? Yeah, you're not looking at Quirrell. You're going straight to Snape. Chinked in the broom. Say, ah. Uh, Hermione, number one. I will say, firstly, that scared the shit out of me as a kid. I hated it. I hated it so much. Every time I'd see this movie, I'd, like, skip, skip it, or I'd, like, close my eyes and block my ears. Fucking hated it. What do you mean? They really do set this, set this up well to make it look like Snape's the bad guy. Yeah, Harry doesn't do... sneaky very well. Why the hell do you decide to use a chainsaw now? Shh. Oh my god. These people? Mmm. There's the future. Not good. Both my parents are dead. <sighs> Way to be a downer, Harry. Fuck. Oh my god. 
<laughs> That's so sad. What the hell? Could you imagine walking, <laughs> walking up to the mirror, and then seeing nothing? I'd feel. Would you not feel fulfilled? What if you, like, looked into the mirror and then you saw yourself looking into the mirror, seeing nothing, because you desire everything or to be happy and content? So you'd want to see nothing. Or you'd want to see yourself see yourself normal. <laughs> is that going too far down the rabbit hole? Because it is a little... I got lost in my own mind for a second there, but... <laughs> yes, but at what cost? Because, you know, you have to know the laws of equivalent exchange. That is the first rule of alchemy. And, you know, if you're using it, what are you prepared to give up? That's the real question. Now I just want to watch Full Metal Alchemist. Brotherhood, of course. <laughs> yeah, snitches get stitches. This is your stitches. You little shit. Still don't know why they should be allowed in the Dark Forest. That's another one of the many questions. I do reckon Draco has a point, even if his father's not who his father is. He should be telling a parent, because this is not what you should have to do on detention. Like, shouldn't you just be, like, writing, like, lines or something? I never got a detention in high school, but most of our detentions, like, the most common ones, were just picking up rubbish at lunchtime. So, in a way, it is a form of, you know, doing a duty, serving, but it wasn't as life-threatening. Up to something. Up to something. I love him. I love him. So good. I hope I'm not alive to see them redo Harry Potter, because I don't think anyone else could play Snape so well. To be fair, any of them. That, but... If something bad happens, get yourself oh, I love that shot. It looks sick. I don't like when they slobber on them. I think that's fucking disgusting, but uh, that was a cool shot. Yeah, stop pl Ugh! Mm-hmm. I don't want to say what that looks like, but... <laughs> Honestly, for a guard dog, they kind of suck, because they bit the trap door first. And that's not helping anyone. <laughs> now we're in the bondage section. <laughs> Again, Hermione knows what it is. Hermione's carrying this. <laughs> Hermione's so smart, I love it. She's the only useful one in the trio. Yeah, I guess that would, that would make you fucking panic so hard. I feel bad, Ron's just, you know, he's more of a pure soul. <laughs> Then, that is cool. I forgot about that. That's like a type of Lumos, Lumos Solem. Because Lumos is the normal light, and then there's Lumos Maxima, which is like the big one. I think there's the other one when they you can like, like do it far away and go around, but Lumos Solem, was it? That's cool that it's like a beam of sunlight. 
used against devils, snare, and vampires, apparently. Wouldn't you think you could just, like, walk around? Because, do they not just stay on the chessboard? I'll beat the knight. Ugh. This spawned so many memes. Kind of ruins it a little bit. But kind of makes it better in the same same sort of vein. We play. It is, I mean, this is a fucking epic scene, I'll say that. Alternate ending. A miner gets chopped in half by a giant sword. Oh my god. This was like stressful to me as a child. I never like understood why he like got hurt so bad. He did take a considerable like fall. But the way he screamed, I guess I thought he just probably got like stabbed in the leg. I love this queen. I'm assuming that's the queen, right? She looks sick. Or is it a bishop? No, that was going sideways, wasn't it? Horizontal. Oof. I mean, that is like a good three meter drop. Yeah. You can do it. Ah, oh, she's so supportive. Humility. Modesty. This is such a good moment. I love these two as friends. Like, in this movie, like, in this series. They make such good friends, and I'm happy they weren't ever, like, shipped together. Because I think they work so well as, like, platonic male-female friends. And I love it. It's so good. They don't, like, you don't always have to be in a relationship, and I think this series does those too well. Oh my god, he's nails. Yeah, this f fucked me up as a kid. Oh my god, it was so scary. Ugh. Put it back on. No, thank you, sir. Mr. Voldemort, sir... You need some moisturizer. You look crusty, dusty, dry as hell. Sahara Desert. Ugh. Yeah, you are a bit of a parasite. Oh, this looks gross as shit. But he has a nose. Yeah, I definitely like no, no, no nose, full body Voldemort better. Burn his hands off, Harry. Then I was about to say snap his ass. Thanos his ass. Turn him to dust. What is this magic? Okay, good. I got it right. Yeah, Harry, go for the head. Headshot. It's kind of fucked that that's the first thing Harry thought of. Let me burn his face off. Oh my god. That is fucking creepy as. Mr. Potter, I don't feel so good. Can never come back. Oh no, Harry. Unfortunately, he will find a way and you will have to endure six more movies of hell before he doesn't come back again. And even so, he might come back. Okay, yep, I was right. I think I've done pretty well with most of my quotes. I've got a couple wrong, but I think the good majority I've got right. D to, be, to be fair, Slytherin did get completely fucked over here. I will say that. Dumbledore is playing favourites. Snape's like, huh, did I hear you right? He's like, you may be... The fucking headmaster, but this is... This is wrong. <laughs> Dumbledore's like doing the math in his head. He's like, how do I make them win by a small margin?
<laughs> He's like, the fuck? He's still frozen, actually. <laughs> oh, you calculated this well. You're a crafty old man, Dumbledore. I'm not going home. Not really. Because Hogwarts is his home. That is just such a fantastic movie. Ah, uh, what a great, like, opener for a series. Did they even know? Of course, like, the books were out. Like, it, it was... I don't know if they knew it was going to be a series there. I don't know. I don't know. Just fantastic. Like, so good. The music's so good. The acting's so good. The kids are so, like, cute and young. I don't know. It's just, like, such a good feel-good movie. Um... Oh my gosh. I mean, there's not a lot to say. It's the first Harry Potter movie. Most people have seen it. I've seen it so many times. I love it so much. Um, excited to go and watch the next one. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching.